Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at Devil May Cry 5. I'm pretty excited about this game because it's been a while since Devil May Cry 4, and of course there hasn't been another actual Devil May Cry since then. There was DMC, but of course that was a spin-off, remake, reboot kind of thing, and obviously they weren't too happy with how that went because that seems like one of the only times when a series has gone back to the original series after a reboot. I'm probably wrong about that, but that's just the first example of it that comes to mind. So, I am a fairly big Devil May Cry fan, however I am not particularly great at it. I will never be doing some kind of sweet skill video to show off how great I am. But I'm just gonna kinda play this in an average fashion. So I'm playing on the harder of the two difficulties you can pick from at the start. It's basically just like normal or harder normal. And we're going to do normal color. There was once a demon who saved the human world from destruction. That demon became a legend, but with time his name faded from the annals of history. Now the world faces a new threat. That kind of sounds like a Soul Calibur bit of text. This game seems like it has kind of the same weird, vague city setting as Devil May Cry 3, which is like, you're in a city and a big thing has sprouted from the ground. You think these people would have heard about the Temenigru. 16th of May, 8.06 p.m. We've known each other a long time. You never had this much trouble. You gonna make it through this, Dante? Now it looks like we're already starting off in the shit as Dante here. Or at least Dante's doing some shit. Nero shows up to help. Waste my time here. He's got this. You should not underestimate this demon. And After a third all, playable character. It was he who took your right arm. The Edge Lord. And gained a great deal of power from it. So it seems like they're gonna kind of drop us in medias res here. I suggest you do not fall behind. Yeah. And then he skates away on his shadows. Okay, V. You're an interesting guy, but you're right. I've got a score to settle with that son of a bitch. I assume we we're probably going to play a short section and then probably rewind back to the beginning. Alright, time to learn the controls. So Nero doesn't have his Devil Bringer. He also doesn't have a robot arm right now, so... Just gonna have to use the Red Queen. Alright, X is just shoot. Uh, I assume RB is still lock on and shoot, but we don't have anything to lock on to here. Uh, left trigger is Rev. Looks like I only have one level of Red Queen Rev that I can do right now, which is... Kind of how it worked in four. Okay, jump and Y is attack. Controls are, I guess, fairly similar to four. I mean, I'm playing this with an Xbox 360 controller, which is what I played four on. Come on! All right, that was an important thing to learn. Which one is the taunt button? Right. I'm trying to remember if 4 had kick jump. See, I just played Devil May Cry 1, like, a day ago, so I still got those controls in mind. Alright, spider butt heads. Those are new. Demonic insect.
the classic like red door ceiling sound. Feed all the enemies, destroy the barrier. No Alright, so right trigger I assume is gonna be the devil bringer button. Get out of my sight! Yeah. Let's get air -born. Oh, you can do air taunts. Alright, red orb. Your upgrade currency. Oh, there's actually an HP counter now. Yeah, so right bumper, left stick. Combos are based on timing. Let's see. Which one wants to play? Wow, that's a really long taunt. So Nero doesn't have a stinger. And I do not remember his moveset from 4 that well, even though 4 is actually the one I played the most. I trust you. I know 3 is the one that everyone kind of says is the best, but I always found it was a little more technical for me to want to get really good at. It's not an easy game. Like, I'd say 3 is probably the hardest of the, the existing Devil May Cry games. Green Empusa. Alright, so... Definitely got a bug theme going on, but I know that's not going to be the only one. Alright, High Roller is... Yeah, I've already been doing that. And then... Alright, so we have the charge shots too. Even though we don't have Devil Trigger. Oh, not having Stinger is really throwing me off here. It looks like the style meter is a little more forgiving in how long it lasts now. Nope. It's funny that you get that little slow mo finisher for the last enemy. Hey, thought you took off. Do you not understand? We cannot hope to do this without you. That's all right, superstar. Go on with your bad stuff. Go ahead. We got this. Is that Nolan Northbird? It's weird that there's, like, no battle music yet. I mean, obviously, Nero's is the Devil Trigger, which everyone was all fond of when first launched, myself included. But we're not at the point where we get that yet. It doesn't seem that Nero has timing-related combos yet, where it's, like, slash, pause... Can I even get a rating here? There we go. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know how I did that, but he still has the kick from a cutscene in 4, which is the taunt button, so I wonder if that gives you style points. So, if you're someone who is not that familiar with Devil May Cry and has no idea what's going on, that's okay. I don't really know what's going on yet, either with all this fleshy bits, but you're not really supposed to yet. Starring the Devil May Cry crew. Hold on, you know, all your favorites from Devil May Cry. <laughs> Trish, Lady, and Dante. Were they all beaten by spinning crystal? <laughs> Looks like this won't be a total waste of time after all. Hey, jackass! Did your mother ever teach you it's not nice to steal? <laughs> Sorry, Dante. I'm bagging this bitch! Hmm, I forgot to rev in my fights. Alright, first boss. I'm guessing I just need to fight the crystal. Shit. 
Oh, I don't have a double jump. I'm used to having the double jump from Devil May Cry 1. But I think I was supposed to lose that. I think it ended as soon as I took that damage. I bet you can also win it, even if it ends the same. That's usually how these things go in Devil May Cry. V really helped out here. Just stood there and watched. Stop hitting yourself and think of ways to get stronger and actually help. If Dante loses, you're all that can defeat yours. Is that what you call him? Yes. Yours and the Demon King. Not to be confused with Mundus, the Demon King. The Demon. Or Argo Sacks the Chaos. Dante is just getting old, too old for this shit. Alright. So we didn't really do much there yet. Where's Dante? He's buying time, but it doesn't look good. And that's why maybe you don't stand next to the monster nest. Lost. Forget it. There's nothing we can do. We must go. And of course, they don't even tell anyone to clear out of the way or anything. It's just like, eh. Natural selection. Deep demonic selection? Alright. So I could have done better, but I think I did alright in those for a B. Okay, so it looks like you are... just rated on your stylish points? Because, like, what you actually determines your mission ranking at the end has changed a lot from game to game. 3 was very restrictive because you got penalized for how much damage you took, how long you took, your stylish rank, and whether you used items. So if you used a healing item, it gave you a penalty to your score. Alright. One month later. Surrounding cities have ceased to function as a result of the mysterious tree that apparently attacked the city approximately one month ago. In light of this incident, the government. They're demons! I've seen them with my own eyes! 
They're demons, but they look like bugs with butt heads. Same crap, different day. So, tell me. Tell you what? How does it feel to be rescuing the guy that killed your father? Hey, I'm glad we're getting personal. Well, he abandoned my mother and I and left us for dead. So I feel nothing. Well, he's not exactly going up for father of the year ward now, is he? research wasn't half bad. Came in handy. So I think she oh, is the daughter of I have to do that in here. I can't remember his name, but he was the kind of demon researcher in Devil May Cry 4. Hey, Nico? Don't lose your tits. I see him. It's weird that she's like super southern, considering that her father's from the pseudo Italian town from Devil May Cry 4. You gotta admit, for demons, they're not very threatening. See, he's got the beginnings of his robot arm there. Built by Nico. Hard to mention too, this game is actually made on the same RE engine as 7 and Remake. So, it looks good. But also, you know, runs well. I also assume that Redgrave City here is supposed to be in the States somewhere. I was kind of hoping they would drop me into a fight at the end of that. <laughs> this game does not promote smoking or the use of cigarettes. when Dante decided to take his Devil May Cry shop on the road. Alright. So that was a good intro. Again, unclear what's exactly going on yet, but you're not really supposed to know yet. Also, not really sure why this guy is so confused. Like, hey, there are demons. You like you're shooting rock, them. But you're not gonna get one from me. Better get lost. Hey, who are you? Hey, you're gonna get yourself killed. Don't crap yourself. He likes to kill demon things. Let him do his thing. You hear what I said? You dumb one-armed son of a bitch. You're gonna die. Cheer up, crew cut. 
you taking notes? Alright, I don't know why he doesn't just keep it on all the time. <laughs> so now I gotta figure out how this thing works. Alright. Time to kick some ass. Devil Breakers are fragile, shattering if you take a hit while using them. Alright, so that's an interesting dichotomy. Press B to perform your Devil Breaker special attack. So yeah, there's a bunch of them. You can swap them out, and they all do different things. But if you take a hit while you're doing it, you'll break it. And if you charge it, it also breaks. I've got some cleaning up to do. Out of the way! Let's get air for it. Let's see. Which one wants to play? Get out of my son! I'm gonna need more than that. He's a real pro at smacking demons around. That's why I built him that well-functioning arm. <laughs> to kick demon ass. She likes to watch her work being used. Hey, Psycho! Watch the merchandise! Hey, stop bitching and take cover! <laughs> Wire snatch. RB... And B. Well, I already did that. And break away. Okay, so you can explode your arm to rescue yourself. I'm really getting the hang of this new toy. This one is like a lightning explosion. Right now. These enemies don't have enough health for me to build up my style more. Green orb. That's just your health. Yeah, I'm not even getting enough off of killing these things. Come on. So I need a few things in that first part of the fight that I don't actually know how to do. Red and Busa. So I guess these are going to replace kind of the sins from 3 as the regular enemies, or the puppets from 4. Um. Let's get airport. I don't know how to do Helm Breaker. Oh, I got hit. Collecting human blood? It's not just Did Nico leave this here? Oh, okay. I found another arm. I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce that. It's like leaf off. I'm not sure the Q really is pronounced that much. Oh, I get it. Who brought the marshmallows? 
is I'm bringing the fire. Okay, rev with left trigger. I wonder if it's still a thing where you can swing and time it. Swing in a minute. Like that? You should have some more. Let's get air for Get out of my sight! Pretty sturdy. There gotta be some spots in your software. I gave you that one. Yeah, damn it. Hmm. Also, his wire doesn't have that much range. It does seem like you still get rev timing where you, if you hit the rev button right as you swing, it charges fully. Alright. Did alright on the style there. Wasn't really much of a boss, though. Blob with tentacles. See, so yeah, I'm getting a bit hey, of a feel for the guy. combat now. Him, but not for long. What do you mean? Soldier boy said city's gone to hell and back, taken over by the underworld. I think not we were already aware of that. But everywhere. Yamato did this. It's a weird way to pronounce it, I would have said. Yamato. Alright, we're gonna get a flashback here to where he loses his arm. So, it seems like they're going for a bit of a, a jump around style. Why do I feel like your pet mechanic? Don't get used to it. Nico, I showed you those order docs. So you still owe me, remember? I also don't remember how long after hey, 4 this I'll takes place. I'm gonna finish up here. A decent amount, because Nero is no longer an edgy teenager. Not. You, uh, you need something? Don't mind me, I'm just a demon what king. Is, you hungry? <laughs> well, you're in luck, pal, cause food's ready and Kitty A always makes too much. Surprised they didn't do the callback and just have him ask if he wants to know where the bathroom is. Upstairs. You see something you like. What the hell? You a demon? Wow, that came off really easy. <laughs> I'm taking this back. But totally has nothing to do with Virgil. Compared to the way the trailers made it look, that wasn't a very dramatic loss of an arm. Try not to get us killed on the way there. Just kind of yanked it off and walked away. All 
Alright, what's my ranking here? Probably A? Oh, B. Oh, I got an S rank. Surprising. Alright, let's do, I guess, one more, maybe. Again, I'm just kind of enjoying playing this, which I know is not always for the, the most entertaining video, but I just want to see where this goes. That's it. No more wheels from here. We can't get possibly get past right, this caution tape. Walking, then. Yo, yo, yo. Check it out. I will say that Boy. after playing Devil May Cry 1 again, and this is it's really the Morse. only one that has really strong really level design. Because in the other ones, you're just kind of vaguely in cities. 2 is terrible for level design because you just jump around all over the place. 3, the Temenigru is, you know, interesting from a gameplay perspective but not very interesting from an environmental design perspective. And four, you're just kind of in a city, in the woods. It's been a good 30 years since I last wrote something like a letter. Don't have a typewriter or nothing, so unfortunately you're stuck with my shitty handwriting for now. I also don't have a computer. I heard you're heading back to Redgrave. Wasn't sure exactly what I could do for you. I'm not a powerhouse like you or the sharpest knife in the drawer. Still given my business, the least I can do is give you a few leads. Can't say exactly how useful they'll be to you, but hey, gotta be better than nothing, right? So the first time I met Dante, he actually went by a different name, Tony Redgrave. I'm surprised they call that out right in the... in a letter here, considering the city's name is a callback to his pseudonym. But that got your attention, huh? Tony Redgrave, Redgrave City. Just a coincidence or something more? I honestly can't say. Also, most people probably wouldn't know Tony Redgrave since that's entirely from the manga that predates the first game. Still figured if you're heading in that direction, you might be able to learn the truth yourself. That's why I've decided to tell you everything I know, everything about the Dante I know. It ain't every day that I give this stuff away, boy. You best be grateful. All right, I guess we'll get more of the letter. Hey, we doing this or what? Probably fill in some in-between backstory I'm for Dante. I'm cooking. Any special orders? Is this where I monster hunter and get my buffs? So yeah, we get I know that you get to a certain point where you can just pick one of the three characters. So you can do whatever mission with whatever character. Instead of like four where specific character had specific levels. A masterpiece. One of my finest. I think some of these are pre-order bonus arms. Okay, you can use red orbs to acquire skills, blah, 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 so this is the store. You can get new moves. And I guess you can buy more of the arms you want. So it's a little more complicated and set up here, but it's pretty much the same thing as before. Buy new moves, buy equipment, buy upgrades. Sprint, table hopper, evade an enemy attack with a slight movement of the body, allowing for easier counterattacks. Okay, so that's just a better dodge than just the roll. Let's see how this works. It's nice that you can just pop into a test room to try this stuff out. Alright, so just before he hits, do a roll. Anytime now, bud. I have to actually set him to attack, I think. Yeah, there we go. It's weird that it doesn't do that by default <laughs> for moves that require you to actually... Alright, bug boy. Not too early. And the problem is I don't actually know their moveset at all yet, so I just have to kind of guess what the timing is. Let's see. Which one wants to play? 
<laughs> their attacks are a little too slow. Okay, that was just a jump. I didn't actually roll. Almost got this. There we go. So yeah, it's just... You get a better dodge if you... Time it. Just right. Which I'm not doing, but okay, that's how it works. <laughs> so yeah, it's neat that you can try that stuff out. Um, okay, air hike is the double jump that I was trying to use but didn't have yet. Get more orbs. That's an interesting upgrade. EX provocation. That's what, 3 million? No, 300,000. That's not too bad. It's just a better taunt. Wire snatch 2. Look at reach. Um, I guess I'll get table hopper. Nope. Wire snatch. Color up. Okay, that's just stronger shots. Okay, so Red Queen Streak is what I want, definitely, because that's Stinger. It's your forward launch. Uh, split, which is what I was trying to do, which is Helmbreaker. Again, these are the names from Dante's moves, so they're not quite the same for Nero. Oh, you actually have to unlock these combos. You don't just start with them. I'll learn that, too. More combos means it's easier to keep your style up. And I think that's all I can afford. Alright, so this is the thing I was trying to do, which is you attack and then immediately hit the rev to fully charge it. Carry more Devil Breakers. Okay, what do we got? So that's the one I was using, Overture. This one is, I think this is the one that works like a dodge. Or an attack canceller. Um, let's swap these two. So yeah, it looks like you have a limited number, and you equip them in order. So like, if I wanted to use Overture, I'd have to discard Gerbera here. Alright, I think we're good. Again, I know that it's usually less interesting to see videos of games I actually like, but, you know, once in a while I indulge myself and I just do one. Oh, that's just goes back there. Alright, let's do this mission. Start this mission, I guess. I'm just gonna say Leafoth, but probably is an extra sound there at the start. I need to catch up to V. Fast. What are you lonely? Hurry up and get moving. Shall we dance? Can you still find red orbs in everything? Alright. Thought something was going to come out of the ground there. People turned into vines? I don't know if the ammo for these arms like recharges on its own. I like used one there by accident. Well, bugs I can handle. Among other things, the length and variety of your combos determines how many stylish points you get and the stylish rank. Style affects your score in the results screen, as does it affect the battle music. So you don't get very much battle music until your style starts going up. Out of the way. 
Let's see how well I can do this fight. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing. There we go. We got the vocals. Let's get airport. I think that went well. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing. Though the rank does go up to triple S, so that was only some of the way there. What are demons doing in a city like this? There's something to this place. All right. I like that there's just arms lying around here. These things are not worth a lot of rank. It's hard to keep a combo going on them. Gonna be a new enemy here. Something a little tougher than bugs. No, these are the sins. Alright. Hopefully they're a little tougher. Let's get airport. I don't know why that taunt didn't do anything for my style. I'm trying to do that other combo. I don't remember how to do it. It was Y, Y, and then tap Y. Did his hood just go up on its own? <laughs> Alright, so Y, Y. I think it's just... Hmm. Queen, combo B. Press Y, then Y, and tap Y repeatedly. Okay, there we go. So it's not Y, Y, and then tap. It's Y, then tap Y. Since Nero doesn't really have an equivalent to Dante's million stabs, which is the forward stab and then just do it a bunch. See, in 4, Nero had a less complicated moveset than Dante. Um, I don't actually know if I can swap. I guess I can destroy one of mine. So left bumper is how you do that. I thought it was something else and left bumper, so... Glad I know that now so I don't destroy my arms. What you say? <laughs> 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 
Come here, you. Oh, you're a little tougher, so you can't pull him. Who's up next? I wonder if you have to be aiming to taunt properly. <laughs> oh, okay, that was it. I thought there was a few more of them. I'm not sure why it keeps saying starring the DMZ crew. Get there before you do, V. So yeah, I'd say you don't actually need to know the previous games that much, but they do give you a lot more context for who's involved more than what's going on. Because, like, all this Demon King stuff and everything is completely new to this. It's not tied into any previous stuff. I guess it's just going to say starring the DMC crew for the rest of this level. <laughs> Trying to stop me. Well, whatever shall I do? All right. We got a goopy Gina here. Yeah, I can make this work. All right, the examine button is also the jump button. Needhog hatchling, hatchling of parasitic needhog. It feeds on weakened parts of the Quilof, destroying its internal structure. So it's a key, is what you're saying. But yeah, so far I think this plays pretty well. Nero feels a little slower. I mean, the combat feels a little slower in general than Devil May Cry 1. But again, that's just because I've been playing it recently that I have that feeling. He doesn't seem like a demon to me. I'm already a demon, Kaz. I mean, Nero. Wait. Which way did I come from again? I am pressing and holding the left stick and nothing's happening, so... Maybe not the best tutorial there. But I assume I need to find another one of these seeds. What is this? more orbs, I guess. I think that was health, but I was at full health, so I got red orbs instead. No. Nope. Let's see. Which one wants you say? Let's see. <laughs> I didn't see that other one coming up. Let's get air Blew up my arm again by accident. It's interesting that they went with the classic sound for these barriers appearing and disappearing. That's straight up a sound out of Devil May Cry 1. Alright, see if we can finish up this level, and then we'll call it a video. This will probably end up being kind of long, but I'm having fun. And I hope somebody is, besides me.
Yeah, so it looks like when you use the Gerbera dodge, it doesn't actually use up pieces of your arm. Okay. Secret mission. Standing on the glowing point nearby and adjust your viewing angle. Okay, this is interesting. So normally secret missions are literally just you press interact on a random part of the level and it'd be a secret mission. Like usually it was hard to tell where they were, but here it looks like you can actually find them intentionally. So they're usually worth doing because they give you blue orbs, which give you more health, more total health. Okay, where's the glowing point on the ground here? Yeah. Alright, let's see what this one is. Eliminate all demons. Okay, that's an easy one. Usually it's like, do it without getting hit. Do it in a certain time. Or, jump on a bunch of enemies' heads to get a floating item. Okay, we have a minute and a half. Attack actually doesn't seem very strong. Let's get airborne. It's funny to see people commenting on, you know, YouTube video of the dynamic tracks that this is the track that jur game journalists are never gonna use or never gonna hear for the S rank. I guess I'm not a game journalist, but still. If I can do it, I think they can. And you get a blue orb fragment, which doesn't do anything by itself, but like a heart piece, you just need four of them, and it'll give you a full blue orb. And yeah, usually a secret mission will give you one fragment. Some of them can be really hard, but a lot of them are not too bad. Ah, fuck. Gotta say, that arm explosion gives you a lot of style points. Dodging an attack perfectly will also give you style points. I do like that air taunt, it's really useful. Alright, managed to hold on to my S. So yeah, pretty much whatever rank you have at the end of a battle counts towards your style. So if you get hit and you lose it, it doesn't count as having gotten an S. I'm getting really sick of this stupid tree. Though I think if it times out, it still counts. Okay, it's down. I was trying to do up and Y to do that, but it's down and Y to do a Helmbreaker. And I used up most of my arms there. 
so I'm glad they're just lying around. Okay, we should be coming up on the end of the level or the boss. I mean, there's health and orbs there, so I'd say that's probably the end of the level. No, nope, got enemies here. Still haven't got the timing down on the uh, other combo. I think this might be the boss that they showed off. Which is just a big beefy guy. Oh man, I'm getting sick of this. All right, another door. And I think I just immediately wasted it. I don't know. It seems like the Gerber uh, doesn't always Let's waste see. a shot. Which one wants to play? <laughs> Yeah, I think the taunt only works if enemies are actually up. They don't let you free taunt on downed enemies. So I guess this is really just the first actual level. Alright, another new enemy. These guys are gonna be a little tougher. Problem is the helm breaker there, or whatever the name for it is, is directional. So when the camera moves like that, it fucks up my ability to do it. I still haven't got the timing right on that, because I'm still trying to do the slam combo. I think the problem is I need to pause and then... Nope, that's too much of a pause. Hmm. Okay. Why? Why? Nope. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how to do that combo. Alright, we should be coming up on the end here. It's good, because I think I've been going for about an hour. Not gonna lie. New arm is pretty sweet. It's a little more versatile than just the Devil Breaker. Or Devil Bringer. The new one is called the Devil Breaker. Get closer and check it out. I guess the phone still works. You call me from now on, and I'll hustle on over. So I guess the phones are like goddess statues? <laughs> Where you can do mid-mission shopping.
call Nico's trailer where you can trade red orbs for skills and items. Any phone is a chance to call Nico. Yo, you just here to window shop? All right, let's see if I can get the other combo. Why, 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 then why? Yeah, that's the three hits and then pause. So that one I know how to do. Let's spin. Spin the Red Queen's Blade in midair. Okay, that's just another part of the air combo. Okay, I've got three already, so I'm good there. Alright, so... Why, why, why? Pause. Hmm. It's gonna take me a little while to figure this stuff out. Why, 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 then why? Yeah, I think that's slightly different. Hmm. Yeah, you can see the boss up there. Oh, I missed that red blob. So yeah, this is the boss fight they showed off. At, like, GDC. Or not GDC, uh... Gamescom. Somebody call a doctor? Sorry to disappoint you. Hey, you happen to see a guy around here about this big uses a cane? I was supposed to meet him. Did you snack on him? Your blood uh, is a very precious sacrifice. Eating you would do me no good. I must have every last drop to rule the underworld as king. The aspiration of every demon. King? You? I don't know. I mean, you're a big guy and all, but you seem more like a knuckle-scrapping fart in the wind than anything else. Yeah, no offense. Uh, puny human, do you know who I am? I shall show you the wrath of the mighty Goliath! With his big old mouth chest. Only I could be so incandescent. You'll be sorry for this. Yeah. yeah, maybe I will. Sorry I'm about to kill you. Yeah. Alright, I gotta use the Gerbera to dodge those. Because Nero doesn't really have an air dodge yet. So I'm thinking I don't want to go in the air for this guy. Nope. I think I just jumped into an attack and lost my arm. <laughs> That hit me. Oh, it looks like I do still have exceed because I just did it there. Oh, 
Oh. I almost got vacuumed in. Oh, my taunt got interrupted by the cutscene. Oh, yeah, see, I got hit there after using my arm, so I lost it. Okay, you can use red orbs to revive. It's a weird system. But I guess gold orbs let you skip that. Am I on fire? You're eating garbage now? That's some weird taste. <laughs> a little too far away. Hmm, I tried to jump off of him. So this is a weird system, but again, I'll have to get used to it. And yep, there's where it asks you, do you want to go to the store so that you can spend real money to buy more orbs? Kelly's my gold orb. I was trying to vacuum out of that. I don't have an excuse why I got close to him there. Very forgiving with the dodges, though, because you can just keep doing them. That would be really embarrassing. I curse my stars in. Oh, here he comes. Made my love so high and me so low. I wrote that in eleventh grade. Why are you like this? gonna have to pick you out of his uh tummy teeth pardon my delay 
I was catching up on some reading. And yeah, letting everyone else do the work like for me. Seriously, in all of his appearances so far, he's just been hanging out in the back being like, uh, so, uh I helped. Don't they still in there? If yours in defeated him, then I expect he's not much more than Clyphod pollen by now. Clyphod, eh? What? Clyphod. It's a tree that grows in the underworld. It thrives on human blood, and those whose blood it sucks, well, let's just say they don't turn out too well. I'm trying to picture a tree growing in the underworld from Devil May Cry 1, well, where it was just a giant to find out. inside of a stomach kind of thing. Alive, we'll save him. If not, we don't. Wait. First, we need to exterminate some Clyphod roots. V, what the hell are you? I know, I know, I'm late. Shut it. The roads were all clogged. Hey, you must be V, huh? Hey, you're gonna get that? Ding, 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 right by your feet. I'm going to make something amazing out of this. Demon toenail. Did you just sniff that? Do you have any idea where that's been? Up your butt. Focus on the mission. And V just gives her his pouty face. All right. So that'll do it for Devil May Cry 5. I am enjoying it. Again, still not sure what's exactly happening, but... It plays well. It takes a little adjusting. It plays differently again than the first Devil May Cry, as you might expect, considering how long ago that came out. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool so far, and I am hoping to continue playing this as soon as I end this video. So until next time, I've been Shadefire, and I hope you'll join me for future looks at demon slaying in various locales. Till then, take care, folks.